In 1976, the Ebola virus appeared for the first time in Zaire, now the Democratic Republic of Congo. Zaire gave its now disused name to one of the most virulent strains of the virus, as the Zaire strain kills between 30 and 90 percent of patients. There have been 25 outbreaks of Ebola in Africa in just under 40 years. It is now believed that the virus is constantly present in the equatorial forest. Almost every year sees cases of hemorrhagic fevers in remote villages in Central Africa, in Congo, Uganda, Sudan, and Gabon. In March 2014, Ebola appeared in Guinea's forest region. The epidemic swiftly spread to Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia. By March 2015, Ebola had killed over 10,000 of the almost 25,000 people who had fallen sick. This latest epidemic is far more deadly than all the others put together. In July 2014, Ebola broke out yet again in the equatorial forest in North Democratic Republic of Congo. Unrelated to the epidemic in West Africa, it was contained in less than two months. Since the beginning of the outbreak, a handful of patients repatriated from West Africa have received treatment outside the African continent. Five of the six patients treated in the United States survived. Two missionaries repatriated to Spain died after infecting their nurse who survived. In Germany, two patients were cured. In Norway, one, and in France, two. In most cases, doctors were able to cure their patients using experimental treatments. The three countries worst affected by Ebola are among the world's 14 poorest. Guinea has one doctor for 10,000 inhabitants, Liberia 1.4, and Sierra Leone 2. In all three countries, one infected person in 10 is a health worker. The epidemic has decimated their health systems. Even if urban population density and movements help to explain the scale of the current epidemic, scientists still have many unanswered questions.